This is an emergency video because my friend Danny doesn't know about Hamilton. Okay, Danny, get ready for me to rock your world. The 2015 musical theater sensation known as Hamilton, written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, is a hip-hop masterpiece about American founding father Alexander Hamilton. It follows his entire life from birth in the Caribbean to death at the hands of Aaron Burr over the course of 46 beautiful songs. I should mention I haven't actually seen it because it's sold out until next year on Broadway and it won't be coming to any town near me until 2017. Not only is it incredibly fascinating, and I'm saying even if you hate history with a fiery passion, you will love how they tell it in this musical. But, like, the writing is beautiful. For instance, the line, I am the one thing in life I can control. I am inimitable. I am an original. Sung by the show's antagonist and narrator, Aaron Burr, in the song, Wait For It. Oh, that's another thing. The entire show is narrated by the antagonist, which in itself is amazing because by having him narrate the show, it gives him a kind of complexity that you don't often see in antagonists, especially musical theater antagonists. As is common in musical theater, each character has a little motif that they sing quite often throughout the show. But the way that these motifs were used in this show is an absolute masterpiece. It's a work of genius. In fact, the show's creator and star, Lin-Manuel Miranda, won the MacArthur Genius Grant for creating it. That's another thing. Not only did Lin-Manuel Miranda write and star in this show as a Latino man, but every single lead role, aside from King George, is played by a person of color. And the best part is, even though everybody knows that George Washington wasn't actually a black man, seeing and or hearing Chris Jackson rock the role in Hamilton makes you completely forget that fact. When you witness the amazingness that is Chris Jackson, he is Washington. And the same can be said for the entire cast. To quote Lin-Manuel Miranda, this show is America then being told by America now. Amazing, right? But it's not just racism that this show is combating. It also has some amazing female leads that are a huge pro-feminist statement. Specifically, I'm talking about Angelica and Elizabeth Schuyler. Though they are both eventually in some way involved with Alexander Hamilton, they, along with their less prominent sister Peggy, are introduced long before they meet Hamilton. In their introductory song, The Schuyler Sisters, they each display a unique personality that includes an interest in going further in society than anyone would have thought a woman could have done at the time. In reality, both sisters were incredibly gauged in the politics of the time, and it's amazing to see them portrayed that way. In that song, Angelica's key phrase is, I'm looking for a mind at work. Because she, unlike the stereotypical image of a female at that time, was intelligent, cunning, resourceful, basically the quintessential Slytherin, but also a brilliant and amazing person in her own right. Not only that, but she's portrayed by the brilliant Renee Elise Goldsberry, who also played Mimi in the closing Broadway cast of Rent, which I saw her in first. But that's beside the point. The point is, they have some amazing female characters, lots of great representation, and a beautiful soundtrack. I could go on about Hamilton for about eight more hours and still not be done, but I hope that this is enough to entice you for now. That's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this emergency Hamilton education video, and I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you probably still on Wednesday. Bye!